All these officers keep telling us these people over here are a load of savages, but I don't know, they, they look like ordinary women and children up there to me. I didn't like it, what we did. I didn't like it at all. All these officers keep telling us these people over here are a load of savages, but I don't know, they, they look like ordinary women and children up there to me. I didn't like it, what we did. I didn't like it at all. This is the advanced battalion of an English government army of 9,000 men. Their objective, Culloden Moor, four and a half miles southeast of the highland town of Inverness. All these officers keep telling us these people over here are a load of savages, but I don't know, they, they look like ordinary women and children up there to me. I didn't like it, we did. I didn't like it at all. <laughs> I don't know. All these officers keep telling us these people over here are a load of savages, but I don't know. They, they look like ordinary women and children up there to me. I didn't like it. We did. I didn't like it at all. The year of the prince had ended, but for the English government, this was just the beginning. Systematically, and with due parliamentary legislation, they proceeded to eliminate all the things that made this man unique and that gave him the strength they so feared. They penalized the wearing of his highland dress, penalized the weaving of his highland tartan, penalized the worshipping at his church, penalized the carrying of his weapons, penalized the playing of his music. They removed the authority of his chief and in one blow smashed forever the system of his clan. They then encouraged his chief to lose interest in him, to evict him, and to replace him by the more profitable sheep. Thus they reduced him to a homeless, unwanted oddity, and finally forced him in his hundreds of thousands to leave the land of his birth for the canning industries of the north, for the disease-ridden slums of the south, for the lumber camps of Canada, and the stockyards of Australia. And wherever he went, he took with him his music, his poetry, his language, and his children. On an April morning, I no longer hear bird songs or the lowing of cattle on the moor. I hear the noise of sheep and the English language, dogs barking and frightening the deer. Thus, within a century from Culloden, the English and the Scottish Lowlanders had made secure forever their religion, their commerce, their culture, their ruling dynasty, and in so doing, had destroyed a race of people. They have created a desert and have called it peace.